Pond One Rain. World, World be nice. nice. Xue Qing, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The first week of the new year is truly joyful and exhilarating, and I'm still immersed in the excitement of bringing in the new year. Me too. Bebe, the New Year's Day holiday was lively everywhere. Did you participate in any activities? Of course. On New Year's Eve, a dazzling light show was held at one of Chengdu's landmarks, the Twin Towers of Chengdu Tianfu International Financial City. This is an event I don't miss every year. Wow, it must have been lively there, right? Yes, it was definitely worth it to see such a cool light show with so many fellow citizens. What about you, Xue Qing? Did you participate in any activities? I went to experience the new 12th Metway Market opening Chengdu's Quanchai Alley and experience the traditional tea culture of Chengdu in the form of an innovative market. Let me add a note. The 12th monthly market is related to the traditional business culture of Chengdu, starting from the Tang Dynasty. Chengdu held monthly gatherings in the area of Da Ci Temple, which was the prosperous area at that time, and the gatherings were similar to the current commodity trade fairs. By the Song Dynasty, the name of this trade fair gradually became fixed as 12th monthly market. Thank you for your additional information. With the new year on the way, I wonder if there are any other good places to visit. You can go to see some exhibitions. For example, the Chengdu Art Museum is showcasing two art exhibitions commemorating the 160th anniversary of Qi Baixi's birth. Qi Baixi's Fine Art Research Exhibition and Qi Baixi Immersive Digital Art Exhibition, which have already opened and will run until March 2024, and the High Su Dongpu Immersive Song Rhyme Art Exhibition will be held at the Chengdu Eastern Suburb Memory until May the 6th where you can also have a conversation with the digital Su Dongpo. Wow, it looks like the new year will start with a variety of colorful activities. That's right. 